steal and gas from these hard-working individuals who we murdered in cold blood, and then peeing on their chopper is a sign of disrespect. That's the star stripe way, baby! Hello, everybody! Welcome back to another video today! We are back in Last Day on Earth. We are heading back to another pit stop, to another rest stop. Are you guys ready? There was a little bit of fun. I hope your day is going nothing but amazing. We are going to be checking this out, and we're going to be seeing how everything goes. We've checked out a couple of the events before in the last couple of videos. If you guys want to see more Last Day on Earth, make sure you're subscribed so you know when more comes out. But here we got them. We got a couple of the peeps doing their thing. A couple of their choppers here. Oh, keep out of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll stay away. All right. Don't you know? No need to finesse me too far. I kind of want to like look around their camp a little bit. See what they're up to, see what they're doing. I also want to test out if the emotes will actually do anything against them. That was something that I was getting some comments on. That like, you know, I should try using the emotes against these guys and see if they're chill with it. See what happens. I might try to do exactly that. So, I might try to like fandangle my way into there. Like, look, he's waving at me like, I can see you. Maybe that's because I was like trying to sneak by. Maybe I gotta be like a little bit more obvious. I don't know, they're like patrolling the camp and stuff here. I'll wait, hello? Hello? I, I don't think they're friendly. Let me wave again. Hello? Stay away and you won't have any problems. All right, fine. I try to wave at you and you're all aggressive towards me? How about running through the middle of camp? Okay, that one dude got pretty salty. Um, uh, wait. No, don't shoot my leg. I'm not taking another step. I just want to- Ah, Jesus. Okay. Okay, bad idea. No emotions. I'll be an emotionless guy from now on. <laughs> run, run. I gotta heal up soon. Mow him down. Oh, God, two health. This is getting bad. For the love of God, they have too many pistols. The pistol dribbles, drizzles coming out in full force. My pantalones! My pantalones, brother, are gone! Not the pantalones! Well, it's okay, we've returned to our natural state. Our natural superhero state. The wonder without pantalones. That is what we are. We're gonna get some pretty solid loot out of these guys. We got a couple pistols and whatnot from them. Ooh. Some medical stuff too. Tons of SWAT gear. That's what I love about these events, dude. You consistently get like pretty solid quality SWAT gear. Also, I just noticed my dude has a booty. Sweet mommy has got a good booty. <laughs> All right, but after this, let's head over to the choppers, see what they got. And I actually want to show you guys something super awesome. I don't notice it right away, but there is something awesome that you can do with these choppers once you do loot them. So we'll go on through the loot. And what I want you to notice is look at what it says. Next to the gas, it says pour off. That was pretty awesome. We had a really high quality uh, SWAT shirt there and some aluminum bars. And here we got a little bit of gas and a weapon crate. But check this out. You know what's awesome? Well, first off, gas storage. You know, your, your chopper has like a dedicated slot to gas if you wanted to. I'm also going to start putting away some of our better stuff in there. But you know what you can do is, I don't notice this right away. I'll actually go and get some water bottles in a little bit here. But if you see, it says pour off next to like the gas area. What you can actually end up doing is bringing water bottles. Also, I put my pantalones on, okay? Listen, I was too powerful without them, okay? I gotta, it's like training weights. I gotta leave the pantalones on, you know? But what you can do, and what I notice is if you bring empty water bottles, you can actually siphon the gas out of their motorcycles. Because you can see they have a little bit of an orange bar there, and you can technically pour off of it. So if you bring water bottles, you can literally steal gas from the choppers, which is awesome because that almost like gives you back the gas that you had to use to actually head on over here. Now here I'm heading back trying to like see if there's maybe like free up a couple slots, get some of this most valuable stuff. But that's actually really helpful because what that does is it kind of like balances out the fact that you had to use some gas to get here. And there's also a really nifty trick to use minimal gas and really save your gas when it comes to getting here. All that you have to do is uh, wherever like the event pops up. So for example, this one was like right by the yellow, like pretty much what you want to do is run to the nearest uh, event because you can't technically run to the pit stop itself, but you can run to the closest thing and then you only have to use gas for like, for example, the red rock right there or like the yellow rock. I could run to the yellow rock and then I could just drive to the pit stop, which kind of saves me a little bit of gas, which is pretty cool. So that's really awesome. Also, reminder, giveaways going on. Make sure you guys enter into that. All you gotta do, leave a like on this video. Make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment down below. I'll ask you guys some questions, give you some inspiration for types of comments. I got some solid questions to ask later on. Well, look, go ahead, let me know those in the comment section down below, and you'll be entered in the weekly giveaway for Last Day on Earth. And then next Saturday, I'll pick the winner and whatnot. I'll pick a random Last Day video, then pick a random comment. Make sure you liked and subscribed, that type of jazz. And also, pretty big announcement. 
I love it if you guys could support me. This is something that I've always wanted to do, and I'd love it if you guys could support it. And I will probably end up doing some giveaways there as well as kind of like a kind of like kickoff celebration type deal. But I'm launching a second channel that I really do want to be consistent with. I want to do at least an episode once every day or once every couple days, something like that. And what it's going to be is it's called Star 2K because if you guys don't know, I absolutely love basketball games in my free time. Like that is probably the number one thing I do in my free time is I'm either going to the gym to play basketball or I'm playing like uh, 2K, for example, like NBA 2K18 is coming up soon on my PlayStation 4 and whatnot so it'd be super awesome if any of that sounds interesting to you guys i'm even gonna try to incorporate a face cam so if like face cam sounds cool to you if nba games or anything like that sound cool to you even if just the giveaway sounds cool to you guys definitely go ahead and check it out so you could and here's the thing i was talking about you could actually run to a nearby thing so what i'm gonna do here is like i only had 24 stamina so i ran over to the yellow rocks and i can only have to use fuel for the drive between the yellow and that but it'd be super awesome if you could go and support it it would actually mean a huge ton to me so then when i launch it because nba 2k18 the new game is coming out later this week and i want to do a good amount of videos on that so it'd be super cool if i could get your guys to support and it'd be awesome and like i said i'll probably be doing a gift card giveaway over there so the winner will get a 25 dollars gift card because uh there is microtransactions in 2k18 so it'll kind of like have to do with that. But if, if you win, you can pick the type of gift card I'll give to you guys and whatnot. So make sure to do that. That'll be super awesome. You guys just go over there. Sub link will be in the description. I'll probably leave a link in the comments. I'll leave a link. Uh, it'll be at this like on the related channel. You know, like the channels have like the recommendations and stuff. Here's the thing I was talking about. Siphoning the gas. This is the awesome part. And check out how much we're able to siphon. Now we siphoned a little bit more than I expected. So I kind of drank a couple more bottles. But look at how awesome that is, dude. Just flat out stealing gas from these hard-working individuals who we murdered in cold blood and then peeing on their chopper is a sign of disrespect. <laughs> That's the star type way, baby. That's the star type way. But for real, if like basketball at all interests you, if basketball games might interest you, if even you might want to check it out because the game mode that I'm going to be playing a lot involves like slowly building your own team that you kind of like can improve as you like beat other teams. You can collect players from the teams you beat and kind of like building like an awesome team with awesome players. That's kind of like the game mode I love to play. I'll probably play a good amount of. Uh, I'm also probably gonna put my vlogs and stuff. If I ever vlog, uh, probably gonna do face cam for a lot of my videos. And along with that, I might even try to do some IRL basketball. So if you ever want to like see me in real life, trying to be athletic, which may or may not be funny or a fail to, who knows? Who knows what it'll be? But I think it'd be awesome for you guys, so go ahead and do that. And like I said, I'll try to do a giveaway on the first video. I want the first video to come out a bit later this week. That'd be pretty awesome. But yeah, other than that, it's going to wrap it up for this little kind of gas-stealing section of the video. Let's head on over to the rest of the video, and hopefully you guys enjoy that. All right, guys, so I hope that you enjoyed that little intro there where I was showing off, uh, I think that was the fireplace chopper event. So, so far, we've gotten two out of the three. We're going to continue adventuring around a little bit and hopefully finally trigger the third one where apparently there's like a pickup truck and stuff involved. I don't know. In the meantime, though, we did land here at this airdrop, so I thought it might be a good idea. Go ahead, hop into this thing and see what we could get. But so far, dude, these chopper events, I don't know. They, they, they got me. I just love coming back to them because I'm always getting a couple of guns out of them. And durability wise, I probably use up like a fifth of my AK at a time. So really, it's not that bad. Like we had a couple of close calls there, I'm not going to lie. But for real, I can't believe I just now noticed that you could steal gas. Dude, that's such a huge feature. And that's why I want to get as many chopper events as possible. Because stealing gas, it's almost like... Also, check this out. You can still dodge these guys. It's a little bit harder, right? But you can actually still dodge them. Look at that. The dodgery is real. Ow. So you do need to time your stuff a little bit more often, or a little bit better, but you can actually still dodge toxic spitters just fine. Hopefully I'm going to have a good chance to show you that. Also a good chance for a freaking shower because I'm getting all stinky, stinky, stinky. Yeah, I'm getting extra stinky. Come on, airdrop, loot up a little bit faster, mate. Let's see what you got. Give me what I want, baby. Oh, I wouldn't say that I wanted that, but I'll take it to the bank. What are you groaning about over there, zombie? Oh no, something's chasing us down. Slowly, the roaming zombie is menacingly approaching us. Well, I'm gonna try to take you out. Oh, did he get a hit in on me? I don't think he fully got his hit out on us. Perfect. All right, well, just for good measures here, I'm gonna kill the roaming zombie because I like XP. And we're already up to level 71, which is pretty freaking good. And I love just riding around on the chopper, dude. The chopper, I always thought the chopper was cool. But after this 1.5.8 update, I think it's 1.5.8, right? The chopper has become so much more useful, and I love it. I'm a fan of it. 
I love what I'm seeing. I love what I'm hearing. It makes me happy. But uh, yeah, also a reminder to you guys as well. If you guys would like to enter the giveaway. Also the bunker reset. That's actually pretty good. We might want to hop into that a little bit later. For now though, I'm just going to try to alternate. You know, try to do a couple of loot runs here. Get some good stuff. Mainly use up as much stamina as possible to hopefully trigger up an event. There you can see. I, I, I only have regular pantalones today. I only got the normal pantalones, man. You know, I'm sorry. It's all that I got today, man. <laughs> yeah, I'll upgrade the pantalones maybe. But I've been doing a little bit of work to the base as well. Tried expanding the army a little bit. Getting some more chests and whatnot up in there just because we were starting to run a little bit low on room. So I'm trying to fix that. Also, we got the shower too. The hell with that. I wonder if going smelly to a motorcycle event could be bad. But really quickly, I just want to see... This is what I usually do. I think this is the best way of doing it if you got some stamina and your sole purpose is trying to like trigger this event to happen. What I like to do is as soon as I walk somewhere, walk out really quickly and see if maybe something's popped up. So far, no, not looking super awesome. Okay, so it's a great opportunity for me to go ahead and put some stuff away. But yeah, reminder for the giveaway. You guys can definitely be answered. All you gotta do is let me know something in the comment section down below. I'd like to ask you guys a couple of questions a day and make sure you like the video and that you are subscribed. You can also go ahead and like uh, uh, last time's video and leave a comment on there. Every Saturday through Friday, you can be entered. And then on Saturday, I will announce the winner, try to get in contact with them and all that jazz. But right now I gotta try and organize some stuff. I'm in a little bit of an organizational mess. I realize that. Don't worry, it'll get prettier eventually, but for now, I, I gotta agree it is a little bit of a mess. Now, another thing I'm really trying to do, like, pretty hard right now is try to save some of our more broken guns. Because, you know what you can do is, I didn't fully realize this, but this is why I think I'm gonna start really prioritizing the gunsmith bench and trying to get it done. Is because... Uh, what happens is once this is completed, you can actually scrap your weapons for one weapon part of pop. So if all of your weapons are down to like their last shot before they break, honestly, it's a good idea to put them away. And then hopefully once I got this thing finished up, which honestly, I think the only problem with finishing this up is going to be the aluminum. I think after that though, we should have all of the parts, but yeah, the aluminum plate and the aluminum bars will be a bit poopy. But in terms of that, I think I got enough bolts and everything. So I'm going to be trying right now. I think some of my materials saving and whatnot, I will be grinding to try to get the gunsmith bench going. But uh, excuse me for a second here. I need to take a lovely little shower. Da, da, da. Oh, no. I also had to re-improvise the base a little bit, as you can see, because the zombie horde decided to come through and poop on me. Because the only wall that is ever safe now is, well, these walls. So we got to slowly start expanding our base into stone. Which might take a little bit, but we ought to be okay. And also, I have no water in the collector! Oh man, I forgot. I took all of it out so I could use it for, uh, empty bottles. For getting the gas. Showing you guys how to steal the gas. But yeah, if you ever go to a chopper event, make sure you bring empty water bottles. I didn't fully realize that until I was, like, looking at the chopper and I saw it said pour out instead of pour in. And I'm like, wait a minute. Because then I remembered the one base raid. Because there's one base raid you could go to and there's a water bottle filled with gasoline in it. That's what got me thinking, and that's why I was like, wait a minute. I know what's going on. But uh, right now, I gotta put some stuff away, get organized, and then I will potentially hum you guys a beautiful song in the shower. Ah, uh, I gotta pee, but I gotta take a shower too. This is a struggle. Oh, it's okay. I'll, I'll just pee over here on the floor. This is, this is my corner. Yeah, look away. Avert your eyes, children. There is nothing for you to see here. Nothing. Nine. Stay away. Oh, of course we smell more after peeing. Because pee is obviously the worst smell in the world. Obviously. Well, whatever. Let's take a quick shower. I'm singing in the showers. Water falls upon me. And I wash myself. And I'm clean. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, I don't know where that song was going. Listen, I'm not a songwriter quite yet, okay? I'm working. I'm working on the music video. Maybe it'll come someday. Also, I got a ton of stuff in here. Uh, honestly, I'll just put on those pantalones, man. I know that I'm pantalones, man, but listen, we can't always survive without pantalones. Sometimes we need them on, and today is one of those days. But we still got a little bit of stuff here. We also got the grilled steaks I'm continue munching on, and we're gonna go back out into the world to adventure. Before that happens, though, I might actually craft myself a bow or two to prepare. All right, there we go. We're looking good. We got two bows just in case we want to mess around with those a little bit. But yeah, hopefully you guys are having absolutely a fan for fantastic day. Me, I mean, I'm just out here trying to go and mug people with choppers because that's my favorite pastime as of right now. In case you haven't noticed, I don't know. There's just something about it. It's fun to me, man. 
Maybe I'm demented for saying that. But it's the truth. So here's what I found. At least what I like to do a lot of times when it comes to trying to get a chopper event to happen. What I would say is try to go over here around the red zone. Because at least from what I've seen so far, a lot of times when there's a chopper event, it'll happen over here out west. I don't think I've seen a chopper event out east. Like maybe I have once. But I mean we've seen like three chopper events total so far. By the looks of it, it looks like something that happens every couple hours. I think it happens like a couple times a day. It seems like it, it's a little bit less common than airdrops, but it's definitely more common than the fabled plane crash. That damn thing that has never happened ever again after like the first three times. There we go. But anyways, I want to run around some more toxic spitters and show you guys. You can still dodge them. Look at that, you can still dodge them. Someone said that apparently they fixed that. Well, I think what happens is maybe it just seems like, you know, they're about to poop on you. But really what happens, I think, I don't know. I think it's a combination of things. I think like if you're running away from them, they're like programmed or something to maybe try to lock on to you for at least a little bit. But I think if you keep on spinning, eventually when they're doing their attack animation, they have to like, they have to stop to actually do the spinning. So you can actually still dodge toxic spitters. As you guys just saw me do exactly that. I just thought it was a toxic spitters, so it's definitely still possible. And it's still something that I totally plan on doing and hopefully showing off to you guys. And also I plan- ah. Well you see, no point in dodging these guys. I don't think that's even possible, but yeah. It's still definitely possible to to dodge them, as you've seen me just do. So do all the haters out there saying that it's not possible or something. Oh my god! I just cut that dude's body off his legs and then his body did a front flip. My god, it's like this man wants the gold medal in the Olympics. He's doing some next level stuff. You got here, you got the gym, you got the gymnasts out here doing their like tumbles and stuff. And you get, then you got this guy like, hold my beer, Jimmy. Walks onto the set and do, freaking just cuts off his own legs and does a front flip. Ah! Stay away from me, wolf. Don't hurt me like that. That's rude. We still got the new animal skin there as well. But yeah, hopefully I've been able to teach you guys a couple of good things in today's episode, how to steal the gas out of motorcycles when you go to motorcycle events, and also how to, uh, what's the other thing? How to dodge the spitters in the new update. Because I don't think they re-updated it and made them dodgeable. Because I don't think I've updated last day since the initial update, so I think it's just something you gotta continuously dodge. If that makes sense, who, who the hell knows? But we're gonna run on home really quickly, try to drop some stuff off. The good news is we're continuing to stockpile rubber parts and the ATV will. We do need a couple of those as we start working on the ATV. Then I got my bows and stuff. I might head on over to the bunker. At the very least, I don't know if I'll go too far into the bunker. Maybe I'll set the stage for tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video is going to have to do with the bunker. I think you guys are going to be pretty big fans of it. Although, you know what I heard in the comments? You guys were letting me know, apparently the Frenzy Giant does more damage now or something? I don't know, that's what someone was saying. When I heard that, I'm just like, oh no, do not say such atrocities, do not say that. But anyways, oh yeah, back to the giveaway thing, in case you guys don't know how the format works, what happens is you can comment on any Last Day on Earth video through the past week from Saturday to Friday, then the Saturday after that, okay, just made sure that nothing was spawning. And then the Saturday after that Friday, winners will be announced and the next week giveaway starts. The giveaways for a $25 Play Store slash iTunes gift card, whoever wins, you guys get the choice of it. And from there, what happens is I'll just randomly pick a video from the past week of Last Day on Earth. I'll pick a random comment. If that dude has liked the video and is subscribed to the channel, I will message him and announce him in the Saturday video. If not, then I will just keep on doing- I'll keep on picking people till eventually one is subscribed and has liked the video, if that makes sense. So I just want to clarify the giveaway a little bit. But anyways, I gotta put some stuff away, don't I? Yeah, I do. And it looks like we are gonna be heading over to the bunker after all. But if we're heading to the bunker, we gotta bring some tickets, don't we? Yeah, I want the big ticket items, baby. Maybe even some yellow tickets. We could start clearing out the bunker a little bit. I wouldn't mind a yellow ticket box. We could start doing the reds. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna do exactly that. Also though, the ATV, I think we continue doing work on this. This is gonna be the next big vehicle for us. As of right now, we cannot craft it, unfortunately. We are not able to get the ATV transmission. We also need 200 freaking engine parts. I have no clue how I'm going to do that. That's crazy. Hopefully by the time this thing actually becomes craftable, they make it a little bit more realistic to do. 
We're about halfway there on ATV wheels, so that's not that bad. I need a lot of rubber parts and whatnot. But the only thing that worries me about this is honestly engine parts. Now the rubber parts are a lot more common too. Like, the only thing that really has me like, oh god, this is gonna be awful, is the engine part. But you know what I think they're gonna do? Think about it. Let me know what you guys think. This could be your reply for the comment of the day for the giveaway. But what do you think? I think that they're gonna make the ATV transmission a thing you can get in the next floor of the bunker. Or something like that. Maybe they'll add in, or like maybe they'll make it a drop in the red item. Or maybe to craft the ATV, you're gonna have to go to Bunker Bravo. Who the hell knows? Maybe like the chest that Bunker Bravo has will have stuff that corresponds with the ATV. Because Bunker Alpha has stuff that corresponds with the chopper, as you guys saw down there. So maybe Bravo will have stuff that has to do with the ATV. Maybe Charlie will have to do with the helicopter. Well, actually, no, because I think you need helicopter parts to get to Charlie, technically, because you got to fly over an ocean. I don't know, but let me know what you guys think. How do you think the transmission is going to be possible? I think either maybe they add in another floor and a chest at the end. Maybe they add in a new tier of chest that's even better than combat gear. Or it becomes a Bunker Bravo drop when they start working on that. I think that's the best way to correspond with the ATV transmission. And after all, we do need the ATV to get over. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but we do need the ATV to get over to the rest of the stuff where like the oak forest and whatnot is because the ATV is an all-terrain vehicle. It's not like an ATV, like a four-wheeler. When some people think ATV, it's ATV is in like, I think this thing's like even can like kind of go across rivers. Cause I mean, it's not, it's not like a massive river. I think if you have a good enough ATV, you could probably cross it. Who the hell knows? But yeah, I think the ATV will correspond with that. And this is gonna be a pretty big area because that is where we can go to the oak groves. And, I don't know, just kind of like thinking progression-wise, it makes sense that the ATV has to become a thing soon. Because a ton of stuff here is locked behind that. Like, for example, the trunk, you need steel bars. Uh, even just to craft up a Glock, you need steel bars. A lot of stuff requires steel. And steel something that they said, I believe, uh, at least from the screenshots, you're going to be able to get it from the Oak Grove. And also, you're going to be able to get oak wood. And oak wood is also very useful for a lot of things here. Now, here for example, well, that's ash actually. But there are a couple things here that do require oak wood for you to even think about crafting. Like the radio tower, for example, you need oak planks. So that's gonna be a pretty big step into the right direction when that happens. Especially because I think the radio tower is gonna be craftable as soon as the oak groves and whatnot become a thing. So that's gonna be pretty freaking cool. But shenanigans aside, I'm gonna organize our stuff a little bit. Then we'll head on out to Bunker Alpha, open up some chests, get some chest openings in, and take things from there. But yeah, definitely let me know what you think in terms of how they're going to incorporate the ATV. Because I think it might be in a new bunker floor, or they'll make it a Bunker Bravo thing and start doing floors, adding floors to Bunker Bravo. Because I don't know, do you think they'll flesh out Bunker Alpha all the way, add in all of the floors to Alpha first? Or do you think that they'll... Uh, Maybe alternate, maybe do a couple floors to Bravo, a couple to Alpha. Who the hell knows? But yeah, I gotta do some organization, so woo! Alright, and with our inventory a little bit more on that organized side, and our chopper over here looking like it's ready for a little bit of adventure. This is what I like too, you can actually have... Uh, this is the thing, if you're ever looting choppers, and for example, you get gas or you get a spray pattern, there's like a dedicated slot to gas, or like even like the gas bottles, and you, if you get a pattern, you can just put it temporarily and the chopper, which I always thought is pretty cool. And then you got the three extra baggage slots too. Whenever this becomes a thing, dude, infected boxes, I am excited for that. That's gonna be a huge reason for us to actually finish up the acid bath. For now, it's kind of on hold, because like, I just want to say, like, it takes some big resources. We're gonna need more connecting rods too. Engine parts, not as many. Car filters, we're gonna get that from doing bunker runs and electronic circuits. I only have one of one electronic circuit. So I don't even know how possible that's going to be. Hopefully it's still pretty possible, but it is looking like it might be a tad bit on the difficult side to get it to happen properly and whatnot. Yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, I had to go grab a sledgehammer because sledgehammers are usually very helpful for taking out a certain room of the uh, bunker. But yeah, you know what else is a good thing? Once you have the chopper, listen, this is a little trick. I don't know if you guys have noticed it. I do want to address it, though, and let you guys know why it's so amazing. But... Never leave your place without your chopper. Always go to the chopper and hit drive. You want to know why? I'm about to show you why this is freaking amazing. It makes the chopper 
freaking amazing as well. So here's what you can do. Now, once we load into this screen and all, you don't have to drive the chopper to bring it with you wherever you go. I'm gonna run to Bunker Alpha. Just gonna run there like a normal human being, like jog, 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 right? Couple of seconds are gonna pass. And we'll arrive, not alive. <laughs> we are alive, but we'll arrive at Bunker Alpha. And if you pay attention to this opening screen, even though we clicked on the run button, which uses our stamina, you're gonna be bringing along our chopper. Now this is really good, because if you're ever heading to specifically loot places, like for example, um, what's, let, what's a loot place I was talking about? Let's just say that there's an airdrop or something, or maybe like a plane crash. If you get a plane crash of all things, if you bring your chopper with, even for like those timed events, the chopper is super helpful. Or maybe if you're doing a loot run in like a red zone, the chopper gives you a couple extra slots, as long as you have it empty, that you can pretty much bring with whenever. Which is absolutely awesome, but I don't know. Maybe maybe it's not as awesome as I'm making it out to be, but it's pretty much like a mini backpack that you bring with, and if you f and you get three freebie slots plus a gas slot and a paint pattern slot in case you get anything there. So it could really save you some time in terms of runs and all that. But okay, why don't we get on into the bunker here? Open this baby up. You don't even need the radio anymore, dude. Like I didn't even check what the code was today. And it still opens up just fine. So I don't know, maybe you need to like... Maybe you just gotta do it once, and it's forever good. Cause who the hell knows? Cause I haven't, I haven't had to type in a code forever in Bunker Alpha. I like it, cause I like not putting in any effort. <laughs> I like not having to memorize, like dude, I got enough memorization going on with school, right? I like not having to reserve a couple of those memory spaces for a couple, bunch of numbers that I'm gonna use to open a door. You know, even though I could write it down too, but then I gotta go get a piece of paper and a pencil. That's DLC, baby. That's microtransactions. I gotta go buy. I, I gotta buy a paper and pencil. You know how much extra money that is? This game's making me pay. Even like a sticky note. That's extra money. That's shenanigans. All jokes aside, though. Death to the fast. I love the machete sneak attack. Because, like, just watching their head get sliced right off. Satisfying, man. Hello, rationing turtle. Not turtle. Rationing terminal. What you got for me? Ooh, I like what you got for me. We only get 16 things. A lot of times it's like normal clothes and whatnot. But we got a crowbar. Some first aid stuff. A weapon part. And a freaking M16. Altogether, pretty freaking good. Uh, we do not have enough stuff for this, unfortunately. But hopefully we can head on down. Maybe get ourselves a couple of those things. Hello, Fastbiter. How do you do? You do dead. You do very... You do dead very good. I am proud of you. Papa Star is proud of you, zombie. Keep up the great work. Keep being great at being dead. Hey, more green things. That's the one thing I hate, though. I feel like from bunker runs, I always get more green tickets than I could use. So if I'm doing a bunker run every time, I will just have leftover green tickets that will never be put to use. Am I crazy in thinking that, or like, do I do I bring up a point here? I think I bring up a valid point. Maybe I'm crazy, but I, I think there is some truth here. That's what I'm saying. So why don't we go ahead and loot through the lobby. Start going through the bunker a little bit, through those lower floors. People have been saying, apparently, hey, got a yellow one. But some people have been saying that supposedly they've changed up the bunker a little bit as well. I'm also going to grab a couple of these things to be completely honest here. Bring them back home once all is said and done. But they, yeah, I saw that in the comments. People were saying that apparently they changed things up. It's not exactly the same as it used to be or something. And if that's the case, I don't know, dude. That's a bit worrying. I think they might have fixed up, like, the chest glitches and stuff. That would make sense if they fixed up any glitches. I don't, I imagine they don't want glitches, you know, to survive. I know it's, oh, I am the man without the shirt now. No shirt for me. I still have the pantalones, though. And that's all that matters. But yeah, I mean, as awesome as it is for us, you gotta think about it from their perspective as devs, right? They want people to do things a certain way and glitches like that. Eh, I don't know. I, I imagine it doesn't make them too happy. At the same time, though, it's not gonna stop us from trying to find them. And not gonna stop us from trying to use them to the best of our ability until they get patched. That's always like, I don't know, that's kind of the thing with the user slash game dev cycle. 
You know? You know what I'm talking about? Like, I think in GTA, like, way back when, GTA Online, where there were all the money glitches and stuff, too. They're always trying to patch those. We're always trying to use them to the best of our ability. And I don't know. I always think that's an interesting dynamic. I know this sounds random and totally off topic, but always seemed intriguing. Interessante to moi, to me. All right, but here's where the sledgehammer always comes in handy. If you're doing the bunker, dude, please, for this first room, bring something that does more than 40 damage. I'd say the sledgehammer, just because you can use the saw blade mace to sneak attack frenzy giants. Whereas if you use the sledgehammer, in my experience, every time I've tried to sledgehammer a frenzy giant, it has ended in pain and suffering for me. Get on over here, buddy. There we go. I'm trying to take these guys out without getting hit. Oh, perfect. If you time it just right, you can seriously take out everything. And they won't ever hit you. Although I'm getting a little bit laggy right now. Yeah, the lag messed me up. Really? I got one hit. They hit me once. To hell with it. It's worth it. Ow. The walls are hurting me. The walls are painful. We can get some green tickets out of those. I'll do a little bit of running here. Until we get up to our first frenzy giant, at least. I want to take out a couple of the things along the way. But I want to save the frenzy giant for a pretty big part of what we're going to be talking about. Is that a frenzy giant? No, it's just a floater bloater. Hello, my dude. How do you do? Eat sledgehammer. I'm just going to use the rest of my sledgehammer on him. It's out with it. I'll switch to the machete later. Ah! Big hit. Bada bing, bada boom. Seal up a little bit, too. Shouldn't there be some, like, toxic spitters here or something? Fast biter. What is that? Another floater bloater. Another couple of you guys. Hello! Give me yellow tickets. I like my yellow prizes. Did they move a frenzy giant? I thought there used to be a frenzy giant here. Am I crazy? Okay, let's heal up a little bit. I'm not crazy, right? There used to be a frenzy giant. Hey! We got the level up. And some yellow tickets. And some yellow tickets. Dude, I thought for sure there was a frenzy giant in this hallway. Well, no way. I guess they moved it. Now, what I want to see really quickly. Can I shoot this? Through the fence. Oh, I can! Filthy! Dude! One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Oh, crap. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Crap! I'm not doing it right. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. There we go. There's my trick. Hold these things down a little bit. I know you guys were kind of making fun of me for it, but... I don't know. It's a good way that works for me. Oh! Headshot on the last one. Dude, that's why the bow comes in handy. If you want to take advantage of this type of stuff, no longer do you need a gun. You can just shoot them through the fence easy peasy like. But anyways... I want to save the rest of the bunker for tomorrow's video. Alright, I got a little bit of a topic that I want to talk about. You know, I like to keep things relatively on topic. And I think you guys will enjoy it as well. But in the meantime, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Appreciate it a ton. As always, I am no longer the pantsless wonder. The wonder without pantalones. I am now the shirtless wonder. Definitely a worse wonder than the wonder without pantalones. But hey... It's what we got. We got to deal with it. So I'm going to go ahead and end off the video there for now. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button while you're at it. Make sure you leave a comment. Answer one of the questions I asked. Make sure you're subscribed to be entering that weekly giveaway for the $25 Google Play slash iTunes gift card that you can then use in your own last day on Earth adventure to help you out a little bit. But other than that, it's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you guys all the time for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.